This is an old RCA Victor stereo cabinet that I've been modifying. Uh, it was probably built in the early 1960s and back then it was worth about $500. It has two satellite speakers on the sides that are on hinges so they'll fold up when you're not using it and they swing out when you want to listen to your music. So if we go ahead and open the lid here we see that inside on the right we have the original controls that I've kept from the original cabinet. I have a new turntable that I've put in for playing records and I have two RCA connectors that I use for playing music from the iPod. So let's go ahead and turn it on. When I turn it on, we see the lights turn on indicating that the thing is powered up. I'll set the mode select to stereo and we'll play the, play the record. The volume control I've wired in through this knob here. We can see that that works. All right, so we'll turn off the record now and stow that way. And we'll move on to the third input that I've, that I've selected. First we'll change the mode select. The farthest to the left is the record. The next one to the right accepts input from the, the RCA jacks. And if we go one more to the right, we enable the Bluetooth functionality that I've included in this cabinet. So inside the cabinet is a Belkin Bluetooth music receiver. And so we'll try to pair to that now and see if we can play music through it. So we'll go over here to the iPad. And we'll turn it on. And connect to the Bluetooth. It says it's connected now, so we'll go and see if we can play some music. And we can hear the music playing through the speakers again, streaming over the Bluetooth. Again, we have control over volume. And that is the RCA stereo cabinet that I've been working on for the past several weeks.